we're back in probably the last episode of this series. Pretty sure next episode is going to be a different generation. We don't really have too much going on right now. I'm mostly just watching over the puppies and making sure they're okay. He is on protective father mode right now, as is Melody. As much as we love the pups, I do think these two are a little bit excited for when they can take better care of themselves when they're bigger. It'll be nice to have a break. It'll be like back in the old days when we just met each other. Just an opportunity to fall in love all over again before the next litter comes. Unfortunately, we won't get to see the next litter, but there will definitely be one. And thank goodness we went and got food because these guys were starving to death. When you guys grow up, we're all going to have a little trip down memory lane. We are not very far from our original home at all. And Willet was never safe enough to be considered an actual home. It still feels like home to Lobo. And, you know, Melody doesn't feel the same, but she's, she's willing to compromise and let him go there one last time. Well, I guess it's time for our final nap. There's not much going on. They're all well fed. We'll do one little howl with everyone. And someone's getting absolutely mauled by the other pup over there. It's always bubbles in the little baby fights. Yeah, let's all take one happy nap together, okay? Hopefully Melody will join. And it looks like we're mostly on our own together. <laughs> it's just me and Melody. And this should be the last sleep. Oh, who joined us? I want to see. I think it's... Oh, it's little Orpheus. Yes. We made it. All five of our pups, not one single pup was lost. That is amazing. I'm so happy. And now we just have to go to our old home one last time. Both Lobo and I were really hoping that we'd be able to raise the pups the whole time out here. The biggest problem was that they didn't really have any grass patches to go in that weren't super close. Or that weren't super far away, not close. I was hoping that one would be the one, but it's got invisible barrier. Our pups got lost a lot out here. So it's honestly a miracle that we didn't lose them all. Okay, everyone. Eurydice knows the way in. This is familiar territory to her. I might have to go pick up Orpheus. <laughs> okay. Come on, Orpheus. This way. He's a little bit funny. I don't think he has a good sense of direction. <laughs> okay, everyone. Let's go inside. Uh, oh, Nova just hopped the fence. My goodness. Let's go in, everyone. To the deck. Yes, I want to be with my family right here. Enjoy the summertime view from the porch on the glass house. That's that trophy we were being told about. <laughs> well, Nova and Orpheus are down there. Um, I guess we can watch them from here. Although I prefer they weren't out there. But here we are, back at the beginning. A very different situation. I think the last time that I howled up here was with Melody before we even had the puppies. I have to say, I like the summertime view much better. <laughs> How is everyone? You guys look so big now. Last time you were in here, you were just tiny. Oh, okay. Oh, Orpheus is not gonna let me in there. No dads allowed, maybe? <laughs> this probably provides some nice shade for us. So let's see, we got everyone now. Sunny with her brother Orpheus. Little Eurydice with a, a bone she found. 
Orpheus on the tail of his sister Sunny. Bubbles playing in the hallway. I do love Bubbles. <laughs> And she's with her brother Nova, who's snuffing around. Orpheus and Bubbles seems like they're really good friends. You guys are just absolutely precious. I love you guys. I got the best pups ever, honestly. <laughs> now I'm hoping that they would go on the deck with me, but I'm not quite too sure. It would be nice, but I won't hold my breath. Anyone want to join me? Okay, we got one puppy. Seems like a couple of them might be coming. Well, I've got little Eurydice with me at the very least. <laughs> I didn't want it to end here. I really do like Lobo and his story. But it is time to move on to the next generation. Lobo doesn't really need me anymore. It seems to me he's become quite acclimated to surviving in the wild. In fact, he's the only wolf we've ever had that hasn't lost a single pup. So I guess I'll be right back with you guys and we're going to show you what all the pups look like when they're grown up. And we're going to choose our heir. <laughs> One last family help. I love you guys. I love you all. Oh, little Eurydice on the porch with me. So cute and sweet. She loves her dad. Oh, okay. I have to stop now or else I'll never stop. One last look at all the babies. Hanging out together. So cute. All with their mama. Okay, I love you guys. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, we've got all of our little puppies fully grown. So we had the firstborn Sunny here. It seems that her... Let's see her stats real quick. So she has really good stamina. A little bit less health and a little bit less strength. Completely average for speed. Eurydice here is rounded out with a complete zero on everything. So she's completely normal. Which is actually quite surprising. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Orpheus, who I was correct, is our runt. Normal strength. Minus one stamina. Minus one speed. And a minus two in health, just like her father. He also had a minus two in health, which is why he was constantly hurting after every single hunt. Now we've got little bubbles here. Minus one in strength and health, but a little bit better for stamina and speed. And Nova. Normal in strength and speed. A little bit better in stamina and a little bit lower in health. Overall pretty good I would say. They each have their ups and downs except for Eurydice who is just normal. <laughs> and I guess now we're gonna see what they all look like. I don't have their backstories planned yet for what they're gonna like want to do with their goals. I'll figure that out myself and I'll reveal it all to you next time when we've chosen the heir. So we're gonna start off here with Bubbles. She has the Mackenzie Ambassador Wolves coat. Wow, a lot of white in there, pretty. So she kind of takes after Melody in terms of genetics, I think. Beautiful amber eyes, I love her little eyebrow pattern. I'm very, I'm very pleased with her appearance, I really, I really like the white touches, honestly. I know I'm stammering a lot, but I'm just kind of surprised. Very, very cute. Next, we have Eurydice, who looks a lot like Melody, but also different in a very pretty way. A very light brown face. I think she might have her mother's eyes as well. Yeah, it looks almost just like her mother's coat, except for not burnt. Interesting. Let's see. Beauteous Blacks, the 992M twin. Oh, and I, I love that her ears are like different colors, kind of. One's like kind of dark and the other's light. That is so cute. Oh, she's beautiful. She's the one who almost died quite a bit. Got lost a lot. Got attacked by that cougar. But I'm very glad to see you were here with us, Eurydice. And we'll do a close-up of her face as well. She's beautiful. Next up, we have Nova, one of our little boys. Okay, so he looks more like Lobo. 
He's got the Luna coat. He definitely takes after his father. But he kind of has a darker face like his mother. I like that. Very cute and pretty. Just an overall strong appearance. I like it. He's got like little freckles in his face too. Orpheus, our other son. Ooh. Let's see what his coat is. Uh, third mother. He also takes after his father. He's got a brown coat with gorgeous like orangey amber eyes. A cute little white patch on his chest. I love that. Oh wow, he's got silky smooth fur, doesn't he? Very, very pretty Orpheus. Not a single complaint in the jeans department for these pups. <laughs> I think this might be our last. Sunny, oh my goodness, you look sunny, don't you? Your name fits you well. Quite interesting, actually. Her coat is very unexpected. I suppose it takes after her father Lobo, but it's a very, very light shade of brown. Wow, her name really does suit her unique appearance. And she's got like chocolate brown eyes, does she? Yes, she does. Gorgeous. Well, you look adorable, Sunny. I love all of them so much. <laughs> oh, it's going to be hard to choose an heir. Here, one last time. I want to remind you who we've all got. We've got Bubbles. Eurydice. Nova. Orpheus. And the lovely Sunny. I don't know how any of us are going to be able to pick who we have as the heir. I mean, if you have a favorite, please do tell me. But personally, I, I'm like, I can't. I can't do this. They're all so beautiful. <laughs> so please help. If none of us can choose, I guess we'll just pick a random one. But I know people usually tend to have preferences. So I don't doubt that there will be a favorite for some of you guys. I'm very excited to see what we do with them in the future. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out their stories with, and what we want to do with them for their main goals. And just generally how they want to live their lives. And I'm going to write that down in the next episode. We'll reveal who the heir is and what everyone else's stories would have been. Mm -hmm.